Welcome to Developing with DocuSign. This is Paige Rossi, a member of the developer content team, and today I'll be walking you through embedded signing with the Apex Toolkit. So what is the Apex Toolkit? The Apex Toolkit enables Salesforce developers to integrate DocuSign into Salesforce apps and processes. It is similar to a software development kit, or SDK, and it exposes a full set of programmatic objects and methods that you can call from your Apex code. Before you start developing with the Apex Toolkit, there are a few prerequisites. First, you'll need a Salesforce org. You need to make sure that My Domain is enabled in that org. You will also need a DocuSign account or a free DocuSign developer account. You need to integrate the DocuSign account associated with your Salesforce org with the DocuSign eSignature for Salesforce Essentials managed package. Finally, you will need to install Visual Studio Code with the Salesforce extension and the Salesforce command line interface. The Salesforce extension also requires that you have either Java 8 or Java 11 installed. Now, let's get started. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Apex Toolkit to initiate an embedded signing session. Embedded signing allows your users to sign documents without ever having to leave Salesforce. Instead of receiving an email with a link to the document, users can click a button inside Salesforce that will direct them to a new signing URL where they can sign the document. Once signing is complete, the user is redirected to Salesforce. To create a button in Salesforce, I first need to create a Lightning Web Component. Luckily, Salesforce makes it easy to develop Lightning Web Components within Salesforce Developer Experience, or SFDX, projects in Visual Studio Code. To create a new project, press Command-Shift-P on a Mac or Control-Shift-P on Windows, then type SFDX and select SFDX Create Project. This creates a new Salesforce project with the framework you need to create classes and Lightning Web Components. Now that I have my new SFDX project, I can create a new class. I'll right-click Classes in the left-hand menu and select SFDX Create Apex Class. This is where I'll write the code that will use the Apex Toolkit and initiate embedded signing. Within my new class, I'll create two methods. The first method, send envelope, creates an empty envelope and adds a document from a DocuSign template to it. Later, I'll show you how to get the template ID that will be passed to the method as a parameter. In the same class, I'll create a second method that will return an embedded signing URL. This method takes an envelope as a parameter and when it is called, it will direct the user to the returned URL where they can sign the document contained in that envelope. Now that I have created the class that will initiate embedded signing, it's time to create a Lightning Web Component. Lightning Web Components are custom elements that you can add to your Salesforce pages. They are developed with HTML and JavaScript. To create a new Lightning Web Component, I will navigate to the force app slash main slash default slash LWC folder in the menu on the left. I'll right click LWC and select SFDX Create Lightning Web Component. This will generate the three files that I need. First, I'll edit my HTML in the .html file, creating a Start Embedded Signing Session button. Next, I need to make sure that my component has the right metadata. I will open the .jsmeta.xml file, making sure that is exposed is set to true and that there are targets for the necessary pages. Then, I'll write some JavaScript so that the user's interaction with the component executes the methods I defined earlier. Now that I am calling my methods, I need to get a DocuSign template ID to pass as a parameter. To get a template ID, navigate to Templates in your DocuSign account, open the template you want to use, and select Template ID. Now that I have written all of this code in Visual Studio Code, it's time to deploy it to my Salesforce org. To do that, I'll navigate to forceapp slash main slash default in the left menu. Right-click and select SFDX Deploy Source to Org. Once my code is deployed, I can access my new component in Salesforce. I'm going to add it to the Sales Console app. To edit the page, click the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner and select Edit Page. In the Lightning App Builder, I'll scroll to the custom components on the left to find my new component. I will drag it on the page and click Save. Now there is an embedded signing button on my sales console. When I click the button, I'm directed to the embedded signing session.
When signing is complete, I am directed back to the Sales Console. My new embedded signing button allows me to sign a document with DocuSign without needing to leave Salesforce. Now that you know how to use the Apex Toolkit for embedded signing, you're ready to build out your DocuSign and Salesforce integration with Apex. DocuSign University has a course on the Apex Toolkit, and you can find guides and code examples on the DocuSign Developer Center. There are also a variety of trailheads that can help you get started developing with Apex. The DocuSign Developer Center has many more resources to help you learn how to develop with DocuSign. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more developing with DocuSign videos. Thanks for joining us.